Hey everybody, Paul again. I want to talk to you in this lesson about the chords in the key of C. As Austin showed you in, in one of the other videos, you can always use a capo and move it around, but there comes a point when maybe you're getting a little bit too high up the neck. Depending on your guitar, some guitars can't handle a capo way up there because they start to sound really sharp and be out of tune. And C is one of those keys that you just really need to know how to play. Unfortunately, it introduces one of the most hated beginner chords. Anybody I've ever taught, they really dislike the F chord. And so we're going to talk about it and make you learn it today. How does that sound? All right. So in the key of C, uh, the first chord is the C chord. And the way you play this is to take your ring finger, put it in the third fret on the A string, the second one down from the top and that is a C note. So that'll be the first note of the chord. That means we're gonna not play the big string. Even though it's part of the chord, if you know anything about music, the E is part of the C chord, we don't want that to be the root. We want the lowest note in the chord to be the name of the chord, being the C. So, real easy trick, a little sidebar here. The way to keep that E from sounding, the easiest way, is just to let your thumb barely touch it. And then there's no tone to that note. And I can strum as hard as I want. And that E is not making a sound just because I'm barely touching it. That, that way you don't have to like be precise on where your pick enters and strums. Because that's really hard to do. I don't do that. I just cheat and make the E not make any noise. All right? So free, uh, free side lesson without another video. So then we've got a C right here. The next one, you take your middle finger put it on that D string in the second fret, that forms an E. The next string is open, that'll be the G string, and then we drop down to the B string and play in the first fret to add another C to the chord. And then finally we can strum the E at the very top. And we wanna be sure all those notes are singing and not clunky. Like what we're getting with our thumb, we can recreate that by not fretting hard enough or by getting a finger out of the right fret or by letting it touch because we're not coming straight into the chord. So be sure you're using the pads of your finger. As you can see, they will get depressions. Um, that means you're doing it right. So playing the C. Next we can play the G chord, which you've also seen in another video. Um, and I like the way Austin showed you to do it. I call this a cheater G because it makes it really easy to make changes and I would recommend any beginner to use this G. So just to refresh, middle finger on the biggest string in the third fret, that's a G note. Second pointer finger in the second fret, that's a B note. Next two strings are open, D and G. Then we've got another D with the ring finger in the third fret and another G on the highest string with our pinky in the third fret. So when you strum that all the way, you get this really great sounding chord here. The reason I'm using this C and not the one that you saw before is when C is the key, you don't really want to have that two in there, that D. So this is a great chord for when you're in G or in other uh, keys that use a C, but when C is the root, I would recommend using this one so that you just have the one three and the five in the chord if you know what that means hopefully some of you do uh, so there's C there's G now at any point be sure you pause and practice these chords make them sing each one before you move on to the next one but this is gonna be the toughest one and that's the F so with the F we're actually gonna do our pointer finger and we're gonna do two strings at once and, lucky us, it's in the first fret, which is the toughest place, generally, to fret a note uh, on the guitar. So, we want to do both of our highest strings with our pointer finger. And you can see how it's turning white. I'm really squeezing that thing, clamping it with my thumb behind the neck to get it to sing correctly. So those two notes are a C and an F with that one finger. Then we're going to come into the second fret with our middle finger on the next string, the G string, and we get an A note. So those three notes together. And then finally to get the root, we're gonna come right here on the D string, 
in the third fret to get an F. So those four strings together and you don't play any other strings. And again, you can use the trick. This one's a little harder because you're deadening two strings. So you just have to be careful not to squeeze it too hard. But I actually let my thumb hit two strings and then neither of those are making noise. So the noise starts with the F. And those four strings together make that nice F chord. So in the key of C, the major chords would be the C, the G, and then the F. And that's the one you're going to hate, but you need to learn it anyway. <laughs> Alright, so what about the minor chords in C? Well, the one most commonly used will be the A minor, which uh, is a little triangle in the first and second fret. You will take your pointer finger and put it on the B string in the first fret to get a C. Then you use your, a lot, some people do it this way. I actually recommend inverting those fingers so that it's easier for you to jump back to a C because this finger won't have to move. Again, keeping your movement down is the best thing you can do as a beginner to help you be able to make changes quickly. So invert those fingers and use your ring finger on the third string, second fret, and then with your point, your middle finger, go to the D string, second fret. You have this little triangle. You actually will let the A string ring out at the bottom, because this is an A minor chord, so we want that to be the root and be the lowest note that's played. So in C, this is one of the major minor chords that you'll be using. And you'll notice that from the C chord, all I have to do is move my ring finger and put it under my middle finger. And so it's a real nice change to practice to go between those two. So take some time and pause the video and be sure you can make that change from C to A minor. Now the other minor chord that would be found in the key of C is the E minor chord, which you've already learned with Austin. You can do that two different ways. You can do the A string and the D string both in the second fret and strum all six strings. Or you can use the two fingers from the cheater G chord down at the bottom. So the E string and the B string in the third fret and then do those strings I just described with these two fingers. So you have all four fingers involved in this one. The the A string and the D string in the 2nd fret, and you get that sound. So it just depends on where you're coming from. If you're coming from a G, it makes sense to leave those fingers alone and just to do this. If you're coming from a C, it makes a little more sense to just move those fingers and do this. Again, always you want to minimize your movement and changes as a beginner so that you're not wondering and manipulating your hand while the music has moved on and left you behind. And now you gotta figure out what chord you're on again, and you can get lost really quickly. So from this chord, I would go to this E minor. From this chord, I would go to this E minor. All right, so practice that F. Don't hate me too much. A minor, E minor, G, and C. And those are the chords in the key of C. Hope you'll watch some more videos uh, on this site. Good luck with your guitar playing.